A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you. These are Jesus' words to his disciples and afresh to us today, this Maundy Thursday of Holy Week, as we remember how Jesus came as a servant king and what this means for us today. So you can participate in this service, whether you're isolating alone or you're together with your family. Make sure you're sitting together, perhaps light a candle or have some quiet music in the background and just ask for God to be with you as we go through this service. Jesus said, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you. So as we come to open our service together, let's pray the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. We're now going to come to hear the Bible reading for this evening. So if you're in a group, ask if someone would like to read this or if you're on your own, Bring out your Bible and read it to yourself, either out loud or in quiet. The reading set for us this evening is the Gospel according to John, chapter 13, reading from verse 1 to 17, and then verses 31 to 35. So pause this video as you read the Gospel together. You might also like to act out the reflection as follows in this short clip. Jesus, just before the Passover, knelt down and he took off his outer garment, ready to wash the disciples' feet. He wrapped a towel around his waist. This is a bit small for my waist, so he put it over his shoulder. And he went to perform the task that the lowest of the low would do. He bent down on his knees and he moved towards Peter and he said, no. Peter, Peter said, no, that's right. He said, no, you can't wash my feet. You're the Lord. I should be washing your feet. Jesus said, no, Peter, you must let me wash your feet. If you want to be in my kingdom. You must let me wash your feet. And Peter said, well, if it's like that, wash my feet, wash my head, wash my armpits, wash my whole body. And Jesus said with a smile on his face, oh, Peter, just your feet is fine. A bit dirtier. Now, feet were extremely dirty and Daniel's worked really hard to get genuinely dirty feet here. So Jesus knelt down by Peter's dirty feet. And Michael's also worked very hard to get his feet dirty too. And he knelt down to wash the dirt off Peter's feet. And he lovingly and carefully soaked them in warm water, washed away the dirt and the grime from the street. And in those days, they would walk around in sandals or sometimes just bare feet, so they would be really filthy cleaned in between his toes, lovingly washed and wiped all the grime away until they were absolutely clean as a whistle. Jesus behaved like the lowest of the low, the smallest, the weakest, the humblest, the one at the bottom of the pile. He lifts us up through his love and makes it possible for us to stand in his presence. <laughs> this Holy Thursday, I hope that you can see Jesus washing your feet in your mind's eye and be moved. Amen. Jesus, the Son of God, comes to humanity to teach, to heal, redeem and to save them. He comes as a servant to show us how to love one another. Imagine what our world would look like if we loved and served one another 
in the pattern that Jesus gave for us to do so? Well, as Christians, as followers of Jesus, this is our mindset, our task, and the heart that Jesus wants us to have for one another. However, it's easy to forget this, and it's easy to go wrong. Jesus said in the reading that we've just heard, Unless I wash you, you have no part with me. So let us confess our sins and the ways we've forgotten God's presence and God's love, so that we too may be washed clean. Jesus, you loved us in the beginning and you loved us to the end. Even on the night you were betrayed, you took a towel and washed our feet. We confess that we are reluctant to think of you doing such a humble task, least of all for us. Like Peter, we protest. We fail to see how love takes the lowly way how it is worked out in a thousand small acts of kindness, a thousand humilities. For ourselves, we prefer the grand gestures, love that can be seen and applauded, love that first and foremost makes us feel good. But you showed a different way. Jesus, towel bearer, foot washer, cross carrier. You have set us an example for our own Monday Thursday and Good Friday journeys. Forgive us and heal us, for we long to follow you wherever you lead us. And so we pray together. May the God of all healing and forgiveness draw us to himself and cleanse us from all our sins that we may behold the glory of his Son, the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And standing at the foot of the cross, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.
Oh 